night. So we are getting ready to try a new coffee shop. Then we're gonna see what they have. Alright guys, so just took a little break from our walk. I stopped at this coffee shop and got a cold brew with oat milk and sugar-free vanilla. It's cool. Um, it's very light. It's not strong at all. It's very like refreshing. And then, oh look, some people are on a uh, boat tour. I got a pistachio croissant now i just had eggs and turkey bacon but this looks so good y'all know i love me some pistachio so i had to get this so we're gonna try this out when we get back home but yeah we're just sitting here right now there's some people on some um boat tours let me show you guys So yeah, that's happening. And there's like tons of people on their boats. It's just really nice. It's a really nice day. It's Yeah, it's uh, 78 degrees. So we're just gonna chill here and then finish our walk so mom can get her steps in since I'm buying croissants and stuff. But it's so beautiful here. Like this is such a beautiful city. back from our walk and we're gonna test this croissant. Can I with you? Mm -hmm. What? That looks delicious. Yeah. Oh. What happened to the other one? I already told them in the last vlog. This is a new vlog. Alright, so here's how it looks. Looks so good. I'm actually about to do an Instagram picture before I test it. So hold on one second. Oh, okay. So Seth and I are going to split this one. He's eating cheeses. Want a little small piece? Mm -hmm. And then if I like it, I can eat a lot. Scott takes the first piece. Mm -hmm. All right. 
So, you see this? This one, this one is a small piece for a meat in it. So, we're going to eat it. So it mm. actually has like some like pistachio Ooh. filling inside. It tastes good. It tastes good. Yeah. It's really good. If you love pistachios, you'll love this. Yeah. Don't take that uh, end off. I wanted to eat that. So here's what we have left. This is all I'm eating. I just needed a little taste. All right, and then I got a package in from Cupshe. So thank you to Cupshe for sponsoring this portion of this video. I ordered some clothing pieces um, this time. What is this? I can't even remember everything that I ordered, but it's black, so we'll see. Alright, oh this is a black dress. I get it. It is like has the lower back out. I'll be showing photos here somewhere for you guys. And then it has like this tie knot detail, which I am really like drawn to that. I've noticed I really like dresses that have like a little tie detail in the front. Um so yeah, I just thought this was really cute. Everything I got is in a size medium too, guys, but it is knee length. Um, I got it for more of just like day dates, you know, like just going to little cafes and having some lunch and, you know, just chilling out. So I got that and I need to delete some storage. Okay. And my camera's overheating. Wow. And then this, I believe is like a little workout set. And I just ordered this because I thought the print was just so cute. It's very poochy-esque. So it's a sports bra. So pretty. And I believe these are pants. Yeah. And the matching pants, which are super soft and lightweight. Um, so got those. And again, I don't know how well these are for working out, but I thought they would be cute. Um, just to wear around the house or, you know, go for walks, throw on a little oversized, you know, jacket with it. So I got that. Got this gray dress. Oh, this is super cute. So this dress has a little button detail here with a V. Also has that uh, not detailing in the front, but the buttons go all the way down strong like right now with it still being summer i could just throw this on with like some little slides some little sandals or you can even dress it up with some heels so love that and yeah gray is just my color i love gray anytime i see something and it has the option for me to get it in gray i always get it in gray next one it's a black and white number i believe this is a dress as well yes so this is a one size fits all type kimono style caftan dress um i got this for both to wear like out and inside i figured i could like belt it if i wanted to um and kind of style it up but then i could also just wear it casually around the house um as like a little caftan so got that and this is just one size fits all which is great hold on let me change my battery all right we're back so let's see, what is this? Oh, this is just a cute little like flowy button down top, very lightweight. But again, something that I can throw on with some jeans. I got this because I love the sleeve detailing. Super cute. Um, I love a good push up sleeve. So I thought that this would be cute for that. You could also like tie it at the waist. Um, you know, something like this can be worn with like some cut off jean shorts, uh, some linen pants, linen shorts. So I wanted to get that. Let's see what else. What is this? Ooh, they sent me a zip up hoodie. Cute. So 
very nice just a nice little hoodie it has a half zip and it's black so this will be great for you know going on walks going to the gym we do have a gym in the building so i really won't need to like bundle up uh like in the colder months but it's still nice just to have a black hoodie and i don't have many hoodies i have one in black but it has something on the back but i don't have any plain black hoodies like this so it's a good one so yeah that's everything that i wanted to show you guys in my cup sheet haul all right so pj is still napping um i just finished uploading today's vlog so now i have a little bit of time to kill so i'm thinking about putting together our bar stools but i should probably wait till pk gets back because i don't want to mess anything up but i'm a little like impatient when it comes to stuff like that and i like to get it done like right now so i may put them together um i've also gotta do more party prep for pj for his birthday um his birthday party is this weekend i may include it in this vlog actually we'll see um but we got him a really cute um like the first year birthday board made and so we're gonna go over and pick that up i've already ordered all of his like decorations balloons and stuff like that um and we've got his cake we got his little mini cake candles yeah we pretty much got everything ordered it's just a matter of just kind of like putting everything together and we're just gonna host it here um with family and friends that's it so let's put some bar stools together all right What's up? What's the deal? I can't show love if it ain't real. Is it real? I feel like I said this shit too many times before. No, baby, get with the vibe, but you can find a door. You can find a Cause it's always a way out. Fuck it, man, up, cause that shit played out. My little baby, that's something I'm not finna play about. I share my world with you. I'll set my world If you're gonna waste your time You need to waste your time with me What's up? What's going down? I reach out and I get shot down It gets spray, I get shot down When you with me, she get it figured out But you independent and you got some different routes Tell me what you wanna do, I'll never talk it down Shining like a melody in my head I just know it's better when we laid up Put you on the side with your face up Spend a lot of time, I wouldn't say that it's a waste much More of a waste when we FaceTime
All right, guys, so I'm back home. Just made me an iced coffee. Wanted to discuss my nail appointment. Uh, so I researched a ton of nail salons in Chicago. And this particular one kept popping up as like one of the best in my area. Uh, but I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. So I made an appointment just for a gel polish change. No manicure or anything like that. Cause I just got a manicure um, a couple weeks ago from my nail tech and I don't get manicures that often because my cuticles don't get that bad. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna schedule like just for them to polish my nails and like that'll be that so my strategy behind that was let me just schedule an appointment for a polish let me get in the door and then scope out who is the like real good nail tech in the salon because we all know especially in like asian salons there's always that one or two like nail techs that are just the goat of the salon. Um, we all know this, right? And so that was that, that's what I was going into this. Like, you know what, I don't care who they schedule me with. I'm gonna be looking out for that one person who everybody's coming in here, sitting down with, the one who looks like she or he is like running this place. Cause that's usually the person who does the nails the best. So I went in they got to me right away i got there a little early because i you know i'm new so i don't know how things work i wanted to make sure that you know it was it was cool i can kind of like scope it out so i got there about 10 minutes early they were very pleasant very i i've been doing this for so long usually the old techs don't do my nails that good so when i saw that that's who was doing my nails i was like okay so this is about to be real basic, but again, I'm not asking for acrylics. I don't need tips. I don't need any fancy designs. I just need somebody to polish my nails. Let me sit down so I can really like investigate this salon if this is gonna be my home salon. And she did my nails fine. Um, I really just wanted them polished and she did that. She could have shaped them a little bit better uh, and she was a little bit sloppy with her polishing. I'm used to my nail tech really like being like a perfectionist. And so she wasn't a perfectionist. Um, her polish was a little sloppy. I had to ask her to like clean it up a little bit. I had to kind of like coach her during the process of doing my nails. And But she was very nice. The lady, you know, sweet lady. She did everything I asked her to do. So with that, I'm happy. I'm happy to have my nails painted because I got tired of looking at them just looking real crazy so she painted them but mission accomplished I found out who the goal to nail tech is in a salon and that's who I will be scheduling my appointment with the next time I schedule so yeah I found out who the go-to nail tech is in the salon. There's two girls. Um, there was a lady sitting right next to me and there was a girl working on her, a younger girl. And she, I literally studied her do this lady's nails the whole time I was sitting there. I was focusing more on her than I was on my own nail tech. She was really good. But there was this one particular nail tech that was sitting there and three people came in wanting to know if she could take them right away. One girl was a regular. Uh, I could tell she was a regular because just how she was, you know, conversing with the nail tech. And I looked at her nails and she, she wears like acrylic nails. And usually nail techs that can do really good acrylics can do really good most things. Um, this particular nail tech also does nail art. Uh, that's another key tip. If the nail tech can do designs and art, they're probably good at everything because not all nail techs can do that. Yeah, I found my girl at this particular salon. Now there are two more salons that I'm going to try out. These other two salons have more of a vibe to them. And so that's why I didn't want to try them out first because it's like, you know, whatever. They have a good vibe. It looks pretty, it, you know, all the aesthetic -y things going on. But are they good at doing nails? So I'm going to test out a few more. But this place that I went today, I at least know that I've built a rapport with them. Um, 
were familiar with each other like they were very very pleasant they obviously asked me tons of questions you know i told them i just moved here and so we talked about that um everyone in the salon is really nice and so i like that um no one was rude or you know treating me like i didn't belong there uh because i've had that experience before too um, so they were very nice uh, so I definitely keep them on the list and like I said if I ever make an appointment with them going forward which I'm sure I will I'm going to schedule with this particular nail tech and so yeah that's kind of my process with finding a, a nail salon home uh, because like I said I don't like bouncing around salons I want to just find a good one and stick to it and so yeah now got a lot of questions about my hair you guys have asked me have i found a hairstylist i have not i have not really even looked um because i plan on just doing my own hair and then going back home to my hairstylist for her to do like my treatments and like trims and things like that and so i'll just be thugging it out on my own doing my own hair which i've done it before it's just not something that i like to do but I can do it so so yeah that's the plan with that so I'm not actively looking for a stylist in the area at all I probably won't start that process for a while so yeah I'm going to go now PJ's balloons were delivered right before I left out um, his cake is here so I'll show that to you guys uh, his little poster board super cute it turned out so cute and yeah we're just gonna pick up a little bit and get ready for his little gathering for his party all right guys so i've changed clothes i'm just wearing this dress that i got from petal and pup a while ago um i worked with them on a video last year so i'm wearing this and I just finished the charcuterie board, so I'm gonna show you guys that. We got the balloons and everything set up, so cute. Also, for all of you who were so concerned, got something. We retrieved the board from behind the oven. So, I'm gonna take this one back <laughs> because I don't need to. So I just wanted you guys to know I've gotten so many <laughs> comments about retrieving this board. Board has been retrieved all as well. Okay. Um, but I'm going to show you guys the board and then when we bring the cake and everything out, I'll show that to you guys. And yeah, that'll be it for this vlog. 